huge congratulations for the work that you all have done, the assignments you've completed throughout your time here, but particularly the assignments and exams that you've completed online over the last little while. I hope you also don't think of this as the end of something, but the beginning, the beginning of your connectedness with Ivy for now and forever. I'm really proud of that alumni network, and I'm really proud that you guys are now going to be part of that network. You'll all have long and successful careers, and as leaders, I believe you have the capability to push boundaries, to fearlessly approach some of the complex problems that are coming to us right now, and stay connected in lifelong learning. If the pandemic has taught us anything, is that kindness matters. As future leaders, understand that kindness isn't a weakness. In fact, it's a strength. Kindness improves the quality of our workplace and our communities. It brings people together. It deepens our connections. It builds trust, loyalty, and engagement. Kindness motivates and inspires those around us to be their best. Remember to think of we and not always me. Events such as COVID-19 are teachable moments. Please do not ignore the profound lessons embedded in these kinds of events. I encourage you to reflect on the importance of character and leadership, either on your own or with friends. And most importantly, consider how each of us can raise the bar in our respective personal and professional lives by working to develop strength of character, striving to make a difference in the lives of others, and contributing to the flourishing of teams, organizations, communities, and societies. Canada needs it, and indeed the world needs it. When times are good, remember that you have likely been the recipient of some good luck. Maybe your Ivy network has helped out in some way, maybe market conditions are working for you, or maybe you were in the right place at the right time. Be proud of your successes. You had to work hard to take advantage of the opportunity, but also be a bit humble, knowing that an element of those good outcomes will likely luck. At the same time, when things are bad, again, remember that partially you may be the victim of bad luck. So in those moments where it feels like every decision is turning out poorly, Remember that maybe your decision was actually a good one and you just got unlucky. And know that statistically speaking, things will probably get better in the future. You rolled a one and you'll likely do better next time. But what is going on in the world does not change and shouldn't change who you are and what you know and whom you know. As a matter of fact, these times will help you make you who you are, what kind of person you want to become in 10, 20 and 30 years and why you want to become that person even clearer. Take some time to reflect upon who you are, what you know and whom you know and carry on. I'm really excited about your high growth career and I look forward to staying in touch. And so I want to end here with a couple of other notable facts about gratitude. The research tells us that it tends to make us less anxious and it increases our happiness. And given our current situation, I think you'll agree with me that we could use a little bit of both of those things. So I hope you'll take some time today and every day to be grateful and to look for green issues. Take everything at its face value, but remember it's the big things that matter. Do your parents love you? Do you have friends? Have you hugged your grandma lately? This crisis has reminded us of all the important things that we take away some of those little issues that we think are the most important thing because they're happening to us. No storm can last forever. Uh, remember that tough times never last, but tough people do. So um, finally, um, I want to sincerely um, thank all my students I have had the honor to work with. Uh, all the fun memories and also the love we share together will always stay with me. So thank you for um, always inspiring me and also encourage me to continue my passion towards teaching. Uh, I sincerely hope that all of you and also your family stay safe, healthy, and positive. Uh, I also hope you will embark on a great new chapter of life. One well, never ignore doubts and fears. Find out why you have these doubts if, if they seem valid. Second, never choose a career based on image and money it brings. You could end up going down the wrong road, holding a silver platter, and have everyone admire your silver platter. 
Um, then you take your eyes off what other people think of you and look down at your silver platter, you realize, hey, that's not the food I ordered. My thing that I wanted to leave you with uh, as you start whatever's next for you is to consider option C. And plan C can be whatever's right for you. It can be, you know what, you want to go get a job, <clears throat> there are going to be jobs out there, so go, go at it full board. You want to start a blog, you want to hang out and be with family for two months, you want to volunteer, you want to start a business. If that wasn't plan A, that's okay. Just pursue plan B or plan C full out. And whatever that plan C is, just embrace it right now because you never know how your boulders may end up being your blessing. Just before you get swept away with your new adventures, take some time to reflect. Take some time to congratulate yourselves. I want you to know how much fun it's been for me to share a small piece of your journey. Congratulations, good luck, change the world, you're leaving here with three three really important things. You're leaving with credentials, you're leaving with a network, and you're leaving with the experiences that you've gained. But it's a journey that you're going on, right? And it's gonna carry on long into the future. And I would say most importantly, I hope what you're leaving with is a sense of self-value. And in my mind, um, one of the things that Ivy does really well is, and focuses on is building up everyone's sense of self-worth and self-value. And to me, there's nothing really more important. So with that, I just want to say thank you very much. Best wishes, of course, stay safe and make sure to wash your hands. Congratulations to all the students. I hope that uh, you have given yourselves um, a, a pat on the shoulder. You have achieved something that many have not. You have climbed and reached new heights in a way many people have not. We started our time at Ivy with uncertainty, like we didn't even know if we were getting into the program. Um, it was kind of rocky through the beginning, but we ended with an equal amount of uncertainty of a different kind. Like we uh, would take it for granted, like th things that we would take for granted, like saying bye to our classmates, or have our, uh, like talk to our favorite prof uh, in person, have our last class. Like, in fact, a lot of people didn't know that they had their last class that day and uh, even have a Starbucks in Grand Hall. So um, I think uh, it's truly going to be awesome once we're out of this because um, you always want things that you can't have in the moment. So let's just be grateful for what we had and have and look forward to what's to come. Uh, it's been an honor to have been elected as your president. Uh, it's been a crazy ride that I'll cherish for the rest of my life. I just wanted to say I had a really great time planning and organizing everything. Um, I also just wanted to take the time to thank all the gurus and all the directors on the VP Student Events team for helping put together like a really great year and just dedicating your time. Um, and even though we didn't get to attend our last formal, hopefully we can still do that in a couple of years. Thanks everyone for an amazing couple of years. I'm so grateful to be a part of the Ivy community with all of you. Uh, I've been blown away by the strength of character that's been demonstrated by this graduating class. You are a group of people who help lift each other up to new heights, who aren't afraid to speak up for what you believe in, and who have the ambition and drive to create positive change. I know that this is a group of people who strive not only to be good business people, but also to be good community members, which I think is more important than ever in times like this. I can't wait to see how each of you use your passion to make a positive impact, and I wish you all the best of luck on this next step of your journey. Crazy to think that almost a year ago, we were on our way to Muskoka to make the yearly budget. And to my fellow classmates, our year was cut short, but in a beautiful way, it has made me acutely aware of how much I enjoyed and appreciated being in a classroom with all of you brilliant people. I miss your energy and humor, and I feel grateful that I got to be a part of it for any time at all. So thank you, everyone. Uh, you know, it's a very tough time to be graduating right now, but I know I've seen uh, firsthand how tough everyone is, and uh, I think that we're gonna have a lot of success going forward. Uh, it was a pleasure getting to work with everyone, and uh, I really can't wait to see what everyone has in store in the future. So thank you so much for letting me serve as the VP academic, and uh, good luck, everybody and although uh, you are graduating, I want to remind you that we are here for you, our team is here for you in whatever capacity we can uh, lend to you. Please stay in touch with us, take care of yourselves and each other, and I wish you all the best. I believe you've been trained to be fearless, you've been trained to face challenges, you've been trained to be integrative, and you've been trained to be creative. And the truth is, the world has never needed those skills more. Uh, we need people who can think across multiple problem dimensions, people who don't uh, lock themselves into silos. Um, and more than ever, we're gonna need uh, builders, people who can get their hands dirty and they can rewrite the way that the future will be. Um, 
I believe that the world will, will never really be the same. Uh, and I believe that we all have a chance to shape the future. But the second part of my message is to say, you're not alone. So you bring with you at this time of graduation, all the relationships that you've built over your years at school, your friendships, your teachers, your connection with the school as you've heard about today. Um, but you are entering a new community and that's your alumni network. And for the rest of your life, for better or for worse, you're part of this community. Uh, I want to tell you that your Ivy peer group just grew by 50 times. And the alumni, uh, it, it includes alumni who are just a few years ahead of you, as well as alumni who've been doing this for 50 years. Together, I believe that uh, we as a community will reoffer the world. I want to welcome you to the Alumni Network. The Ivy Alumni Network will be a positive, tangible force for you over the next weeks, months, and throughout your lives. We miss you all. Take care of yourselves. Wave to each other now. Take a chance to say hi, bye. I know you're keeping socially connected, which is fantastic. That's all for us. Thank you very much. Stay safe and keep in touch. Take care, everyone. Bye.